Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video for you guys, and today we're going to be going over the new game mode, Cranked 2. I'm going to be going over all the mechanics in this game mode, and any tips and tricks to get you guys to the highest round. Let's get right into it. So, what is Cranked 2? At first glance, it seems like a normal round-based game mode until you load in and you find out you can't choose your weapon. And after your first zombie kill, a timer starts. And once the timer reaches zero, you guessed it, you explode and die. And in order to keep that timer ticking, you have to kill zombies to restart the timer. Oh yeah, and the waves never end and the zombies keep spawning in non-stop. Even more, there's no wall buys, no crafting table. If you want a weapon, you'll be happy to find it in the mystery box. Well, if you're lucky enough, at least. Need a chopper gunner or a fire bow? No need to worry, the mystery box will hand them out even more than they will weapons. And the best part of all of it is as you get to higher rounds, the timer gets shorter and shorter until it's nearly unbearable. So now since you know what Crank 2 is, let's get into the mechanics of this game mode. Now right off the bat starting off, you're going to notice that you start off with a knife and you have no choice, but you can pick which field upgrade you want, which at this point, it, I think it's all going to be up to what you want to use. But um, starting off, you're going to notice that you have a speed increase you can now sprint faster not stamina up speed but close to it but also so do the zombies you're gonna have sprinters at round one all right now the mystery box a very big aspect of this game mode considering it's the only way you can get weapons in it but starting off the mystery box is available at every single location it does not despawn and you half the time you roll it you're gonna get either a kill streak of some sort or you might get a weapon if you're lucky now I've noticed the most common weapons you get out of the mystery box is going to be your SMGs and your assault rifles. Attack rifles and sniper rifles are pretty rare, shotguns are probably medium, but more than often you're going to be getting um, SMGs and killstreaks out of the mystery box. And once you get the weapon out of the chest that you want, you can actually apply your custom mods to it now, which if you want to know more about that, that gives you all of your attachments you want onto the weapon out of the mystery box along with your camos, and you can find a link to that video with a guide in the description below. Alright, now let's get into the perks. Now all the perks can be found in the same locations as before on each of the maps. Now, having Tombstone, it works just as before. If you are down by a zombie, you are able to go revive yourself, but the timer does not stop and you can still blow up in the afterlife. And same thing with Quick Revive, if you have it upgraded to tier five, if you ever downed by a zombie, you can still kill a zombie while downed and it will revive you. But again, the timer does not stop and you can blow up even when you're downed. But don't get it mistaken, if the timer runs out and you have these perks, you will blow up and it will end the game. Now, Jug, uh, this was a huge, huge thing when I discovered this, but I don't think this was intentional on Treyarch's end, but on tier 5, it says, instead of getting down on a lethal hit, armor is depleted and health is reduced to 1. Well, a lethal hit in this case is the explosion that goes off when your timer runs out. So in this case, I found out that if the timer runs out and you have jug and you have armor, it'll take your health down to 1, take away all of your armor, and it stops the timer. Not permanently, but it stops it to where you can run around the map and you can collect the things you need. And the second you kill another zombie, the timer will start back up. And this is huge because at least on, like for instance, Firebase Z trying to go through the portal and wait for new zombies to spawn, it takes a while and that could get, cause you to blow up numerous times. So having this accessible to where all you gotta do is just let the time run out, blow up, make sure you don't get hit by a zombie or a boss for a couple seconds, get your health back. And then you can just hit the mystery box, collect all your perks, Collect everything you need, and then when you're ready, kill another zombie and keep going. Alright, now let's get into what the difference in the maps are from the original round base game modes. First off, in D Machine, uh, the Megaton still does spawn in, but when you turn on the power, there are no dog rounds, and you don't have to go to the Dark Aether to build the, pa uh, yeah, the Pack-a-Punch machine. It is already there immediately the second you turn the power on. Now, unfortunately, that's not the same for Firebase Z. You still have to go around and you have to turn on all of the reactors just to get the pack a punch and the Wonder Fizz machine turned on. 
But the good news is once you have the power on, there are no assault rounds on Firebase C, so you don't have to leave or wait for monsters to spawn. Now another thing to note on all these maps is anytime you go through a teleporter or you're going to your chopper gunner or a kill streak, the timer does stop the time of which you're doing the animation. Once you come back, the timer does begin again. That's very helpful on Firebase C having to go through the portal, but you still have to deal with the zombie spawns. Now, I found the best two strategies to be on D Machina is going to be running around in circles at the spawn with a shotgun so you can kill the zombies quickly and efficiently. And then on Firebase Z, it's going to be sitting in the office with toxic growth by the windows and by the chair, just shooting down the hallway and getting headshots and killing the zombies off quickly. And when it comes to ammo mods, stay away from dead wire and turned because both of those, when you shoot them, they do not instantly kill the zombies. And if it's the last two seconds and you're relying on that shot to get your final kill, you're going to be disappointed when you blow up because they don't register as a kill immediately. So you'll have to wait the several seconds for the animation to finish for you to receive that kill. Well, that is it, guys. That is everything you need to know for the game mode Cranked 2. It's a limited time game mode, so take advantage of it while we have it and enjoy it. It is by no means an easy game mode, and high rounds are going to be very hard to do on this, so give it a shot and have fun. And if this video is at all helpful or informative, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I release zombie content every single week, and you guys do not want to miss it. Peace.